Hey, Winkers. I have a new episode of Comic Reviews, and they're brought to you by, as always, Red Knight, uh, the comic I write and create with Primal Paper Comics. You can get all six issues uh, that are available right now in print or digital on primalpapercomics.com, or if you want, a, uh, you can check out my Etsy shop at uh, manuspublishing.etsy.com. The links are going to be below. Not only can you get this particular comic, you can also get the Primal Paper Comics Free Comic Book Day Special, which features all five titles, uh, and it's free. Uh, you can definitely check it out uh, at the link below. I highly recommend it. Um, it has nothing to do with the fact that I helped make it. Now, let's do some comics that I have nothing to do with. Uh, Daredevil. Uh, 26 by the usual gang, uh, Mark Wade, uh, Chris Sneed. Uh, this is a double pay, double, uh, double issue, actually, which is cool, because it's not like, as far as I can tell, an anniversary issue. It doesn't fall on some kind of even number, uh, <laughs> like, you know, or 25 or 30 or 50 or, I don't know. It's just a cool issue, so they made a double issue. Uh, wow, that's cool. It, they used to do that? I think so. Um, Daredevil is getting closer and closer to figuring out, and actually he does figure out who is behind, uh, who's ever tried to kill him and destroy his life. Oh, uh, I won't say who it is, but it's, uh, it's not, it does not disappoint, let me tell you. Um, he had just gotten finished with his brutal fight with, uh, Karari and just barely surviving. He <laughs> heads back to the office where everyone has been kind of taking a vacation since somebody uh, attacked them with dogs uh, from the previous issue. And so he has an interview with this guy and he's not even sure if he's a real inter interviewee for a job or he's behind what's going on and it's actually kind of a disturbing sequence. Um, which gives him quite a bit of a scare. So he runs back to check on uh, Foggy to see if he's okay. Because, like, you know, he's in a pretty vulnerable spot. He's in the hospital being treated for cancer. I, I'm sure someone in the Marvel Universe could probably easily kill him off uh, in that vulnerable position. Anyway, uh, Foggy is Foggy, as always. What a great character. And I, I, I think Matt... You know, I think one of the greatest things... Uh, Matt ever did was tell Foggy who he was because that has helped him out immensely. Oh, uh, he has like probably saved his life a whole bunch of times in recent years. Uh, the art, as always, is fantastic. Sunid is just never. Oh, I'm not going to go any further past this issue, this page, because oh, uh, what a great uh, story! I'm very excited about this uh, book. You know. Sometimes I forget how awesome this series is, and then I pick it up for, for uh, you know, whatever month it comes out, and I'm reminded what a great book. Still Marvel's best title, uh, Five Ram Chips. And here's one of the X-Men books I read for some reason. I can't believe it. Brian Michael Bendis! You've got me to read X-Men. Oh, man. Oh, let's see. Brian Michael Bendis and Fraser Irving. Uh, when last we met our heroic team of misfits, they had been sucked into the vortex of hell. Oh, yeah, the vortex of hell is kind of scary. And uh, Fraser Irving is really talented. I've not seen his work before, but um, his art is just spectacular. Uh, there's some wonderful shots uh, of everybody trapped in hell. Uh, let's see, where's my favorite? I mean, this is amazing. Uh, right here, where they're facing like Dormono and uh, Magic uh, and her full demon form here and there. Uh, and I love how uh, one of the new girls, uh, I can't remember her name, but uh, the one from Australia, says, uh, all right, you know, if it's okay with all of you, I'm, I'm going to quit the X-Men. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I'd probably be interested in quitting if, you know, this was a daily occurrence. Oh, wow, this is really cool. 
I don't want to give too much away, but uh, at the end was pretty spectacular because while everybody's fighting, uh, uh, S.H.I.E.L.D. gets together with uh, a particular mutant to, because they feel like they're behind on the whole mutant uh, situation. So they hire a mutant, and I'm not going to tell you who that mutant is, uh, but it was pretty cool. Uh, neat, neat, neat. I loved it. Uh, I'm going to give it a strong four ram chips. And let's go back to Dinosaur Times with issue 12 of The Avengers. And uh, Hickman, Nick Spencer, and let's see, Hick Jonathan Hickman and Nick Spencer with Mike Diodato doing some stunning work here. Um, yeah, I mean... Yeah, he's well known for being a, a really talented artist, but uh, wow, he must have not had any other projects this month when he did this issue, because it is beautiful from page to page. Uh, I really am kind of knocked out by everything. Um, now, what's going on basically is these sort of like white tiger alien children or something like that uh, got uh, planted into... Um, the Savage Land, and they're perfect. They're perfect beings. And uh, the Avengers go to kind of sort of raise them, and they're aging really quickly. They were like, ba they were babies like two weeks ago. Now they're like, you know, uh, like mid ones, uh, you know, they're like eight or ten or something like that. And so they really do realize the importance of uh, showing these kids right. And, uh, you know, everybody has their own philosophies. And, uh, you know, Thor and Hyperion is really taking this to task. Um, they, they seem to even be thinking about, you know, what it's like to be a parent. Um, and they're, they're having a pretty good conversation here. Uh, I don't want to really say what happens too much, especially at the end. Uh, but someone else has their own kind of plans uh, for the kids. Of course, this is superhero comics. Uh, I'm going to give this four RAM chips as well. Uh, pretty amazing stuff, uh, particularly the art. The art was really, really good. And I like Hickman's and Nick Spencer's uh, grasp of the situation and grasp of the characters and the way they all dealt with the situation. Um, very good. I think that's it for now, so push the button, Lindsay.